welcome back to a new episode of Weekly Chew. On this week's episode, we'll be showing you how to make North Fry Style Chicken with fry. Let's take a look at what you'll need for this week's recipe. You will need pepper, salt, onion powder, cinnamon, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, paprika, poultry seasoning, chili powder, five pounds of potatoes, hot sauce, buttermilk, canola oil, flour, and finally, chicken thighs and drumsticks. Let's get started. We'll start with marinating our chicken. We'll take about 500 milliliters of buttermilk, which is about half of one liter, and place it in a measuring cup. To our buttermilk, we will add one teaspoon of pepper, next we'll add about two tablespoons of hot sauce, and mix it all around. Now we can add the marinade to the chicken. When marinating, you want to make sure that all the meat is covered well. Now you can cover and place in the fridge for a minimum of four hours. One thing you could think about doing is to start the marinade the day before and let the chicken marinate overnight. If not, four hours minimum. For the rest of the steps, you should time it out to fit the four hour marinade time. Right now, we're going to get our breading ready. To start off, we'll get four cups of flour and place it into a bowl. Now for our seasonings. The first, salt. We'll add about one good tablespoon of salt to the flour. followed by one tablespoon of pepper. After the pepper is chili powder, and we're going to add about one teaspoon of it. It's not that much. Next up, poultry seasoning. And we're only going to add about half a teaspoon of poultry seasoning to the mixture. Next up, garlic powder. And we're going to use one good tablespoon of it. Next is the cayenne pepper, and we're only using about one teaspoon for the breading. Next on the list is paprika, and we're going to use one big tablespoon and dump it in. Next, we're going to add about one half teaspoon of cinnamon. That's right. I said cinnamon. And finally, two tablespoons of onion powder. Okay. Now, we're going to mix the whole thing, making sure that it blends well together.
after we've set our mixture aside, we can get our fries ready, starting with giving our potatoes a good scrub. For our fries, we're going to leave the skin on, but if you want to, you can peel them if that's what you prefer. Once we've scrubbed, we'll give them a thorough rinse in the sink. Now they're ready to be cut. When cutting your fries, you want to make them as close to the same size as possible. This will help them cook evenly. When you're done cutting them, place them in a bowl with water. This will help remove the starch, making a crispier fry. Now it's time to get the oil ready. We're using canola oil for today's recipe, and we're going to put about half of a 1.89 liter bottle of oil in a pot. If you have a deep fryer to use, that's fine. It doesn't matter what you cook them in, what matters is the temperature of the oil. We're going to turn our burner on to a high heat, and heat the oil to a temperature of 360 degrees Fahrenheit. While we wait for our oil to heat up, we're going to take a serving of fries out of the water and pat dry them before placing them in the oil. 